Hey guys, today's video is a get ready with me. So basically I went to my cousin's birthday dinner so I just wanted to show you my hair, makeup and outfit. So starting off, I've already applied my foundation and done my brows and now I'm using my Bare Minerals eyeshadow primer. Then following this, I'm just going to apply some tape to the corners of my eyes to give myself a nice precise line with my eyeshadow. Now grabbing my Too Faced Natural Matte Palette and I'm using the colours Heaven and Lace Teddy to apply all over my lid. Now grabbing Barcelona Beach by Makeup Geek and I'm using this in the outer corner of the eye and through the crease. I'm using a Sigma bullet brush. Now grabbing Frappe on the right and Coco Bear on the left also by Makeup Geek. I'm just using that same brush to apply Frappe where I applied Barcelona Beach so this is just going to give a bit more warmth to the look. And now applying Coco Bear with a smaller brush. So try to keep this one in a V shape on the outer corner of the eye and then just blend all of those colours out to give it more of a softer appearance. Now grabbing Bitten also by Makeup Geek and I'm going to apply this pretty much in the same place that I applied Coco Bear. So you want to give a lot more warmth to the look with this particular eyeshadow. Next I'm grabbing my Rimmel London Waterproof Brown Pencil and I'm just using this on the upper and lower lash line. Now grabbing Grandstand, this is a foiled eyeshadow by Makeup Geek and I'm applying it with my finger all over the lid up to the crease. So you really want to apply this in layers so you can get a lot of depth and pigment with this eyeshadow. Now grabbing another foiled eyeshadow, this is in the colour In The Spotlight and I'm just using it in the inner tear duct and also on the brow bone as well. Now I'm using a Sigma brush and I'm applying the colours Barcelona Beach, Frappe and Coco Bear to the bottom lash line. Next I'm using my favourite MAC mascara. This is in Extended Play Lash and I did a few coats top and bottom lashes. So this is basically the finished eye look. Thought I'd give you guys a close up and now I'm on to the rest of my face. So using a Rimmel London bronzer, I'm going to be using this underneath my cheekbones along my the top of my forehead and I'm also going to use it to contour my nose. I do really like this bronzer, I'll put the name below, it's quite a natural kind of colour but it does a really good job of contouring lightly. Now just grabbing What's Up by Benefit, I'm just applying this with my fingers and then using a MAC blush, this is in the colour Breath of Plum. And once I've applied my blush, I'm going to be using a lip liner by Face of Australia, this one is in the colour Sugar Rose and then I'm using Twig by MAC as my lipstick. I'm just going over that highlight again with Perfect Topping which is a MAC highlight and I absolutely love this one so I'm using it quite liberally all over my face. And so this is the finished makeup look. I hope you guys liked this makeup. I, I thought it looked really good with the red dress but anyway now on to hair. So today I'm going to be doing a high ponytail which I'm going to curl as well and I'm using my Hair Secrets Clip-In Extensions. And I'll put a bit of info about this below and I'll also link you guys, um, I'll put a link to my other video that shows this hairstyle in a bit more depth. But basically what you want to do is clip three of the wefts going the opposite way to, to how your hair normally goes down. So you'll be clipping them going upwards and then you're going to be clipping two of them going the normal way which is just easy when you're combing it all into a ponytail because you want it to be as sort of flat to your head as possible. So I'm just spraying a little bit of hairspray in and teasing it before I clip in the extension because that way it'll hold better and it's just easier when you're combing it all into one ponytail. So this is the last weft that I'm clipping in now which is the two clip one. And after I've done that I basically just brush all my hair through so that there's no knots so it's easier when you're doing it up. And then I brush it into a ponytail, fix any clips underneath that are kind of sticking out, then I respray, um, well I pretty much spray the whole front and underneath section and then just tie it up with a really really strong hair tie. I normally do two of these if I need it because the hair is so heavy with all of the extensions. Now I'm just using my mirror curl to curl my natural hair with my extensions. So this just helps it to look a bit more real or natural. Um, especially because my hair is slightly darker than the extension hair so it kind of helps to blend it a little bit more. So after I've curled it I normally grab a small piece of hair at the front and then I twist it around my hair tie and then pin it or secure it with two bobby pins. 
So lastly, I just grab my hairspray again and I just spray the curls and the front section if needed. Um, you can run your fingers through them a little bit if you want them to be a bit looser, but they end up falling out slightly anyway. So this is the finished makeup and hair look. And now I'm just going to show you guys my outfit. So my dress is from Pepper Mayo online and then I got my shoes from Whitner. I hope you guys really liked this makeup, hair and outfit video and I'll see you all in my next one.